By the late 1990s, it became clear that the PS98 turbofan engine had no prospects for further development, primarily due to its outdated compressor, which traced its history back to the first perm jet engine, the D20P developed in the 1960s. Therefore, in 1999-2000, a new generation 5-plus gas generator was designed at Aviadvital JSC under the leadership of A.A. Inozemtsev. This gas generator featured a 5-stage high-pressure compressor with a pressure ratio of 11, an annular combustion chamber, and a single-stage cooled turbine. This universal gas generator was intended to be the foundation for a family of turbofan engines, PS7 with a thrust of 71.6 kN, PS9 with a thrust of 100 kN, PS14, PS18, and other more powerful engines. In 2002, the preliminary design of a new Russian medium-haul airliner, designated as the MS-21 or MC-21 in Russian, mainline aircraft of the 21st century, was completed. The new aircraft was to complement the regional jet RRJ, now SSJ, which was in the final stages of design, and to compete with the Western Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. At that time, it became clear that the new MS-21 aircraft needed a new Russian engine. The Central Institute of Aviation Motors, CIM, and Aviadvigodl JSC in Perm developed the technical profile of a promising turbofan engine with a direct drive fan, and in 2004, the program to create the scientific and technical groundwork for its development began. The engine was designated as the PD-14, promising engine with a thrust of 14 tons. In the meantime, the American P-1400G turbofan engine was chosen as the power plant for the MS-21, the first flight of the MS-21-310, serial no. Euro 05 with PD-14V engines took place in December 2020. During the design and creation of the PD-14, a large number of innovative and advanced technologies were developed and applied including 16 key technologies, enabling the engine to achieve the desired characteristics. For example, all elements and modules of the gas air path were developed using three-dimensional aerodynamic design methods and all design work was performed using paperless technology. The fan is equipped with wide cord titanium blades. The calculation and design technology for such blades was developed by CIM in 2000 and was first applied in the fans of the SAM 146 and D436 148 FM turbofan engines. The PD-14 blades are hollow and manufactured using super plastic forming and diffusion bonding. The high pressure compressor blisks with pressure ratio of 17, in the first, second, and fifth stages are made of titanium alloy, while the discs of the sixth to eighth stages are made of a new generation nickel powder alloy. The combustion chamber components are made of heat-resistant intermetallic alloy featuring low-emission combustion with air blast atomizers and using second-generation ceramic thermal barrier coatings. The high-pressure turbine blades and nozzle vanes are made of the latest single-crystal alloys VZA45, protected by ceramic thermal barrier coatings, and the discs are made of a new-generation nickel alloy. The blades and vanes of the first to sixth stages of the low-pressure turbine are hollow and made of titanium aluminide, with active control of radial clearances applied. Approximately 65% of the nacelle structure is made of composite materials. The nacelle is equipped with a grid-type thrust reverser with an electromechanical drive. The PD-14 will be certified with thrust ratings of 123.3 to 137 kN for two variants of the MS-21 aircraft, the MS-21-300, 163 to 211 seats, and the MS-21-200, 132 to 165 seats. A lower thrust version for the MS-21-200 can be achieved by simply reprogramming the engine's electronic controller. The PD-14 features a design that allows for modular engine repairs during operation without removing it from the aircraft. This factor also helps reduce repair time in factory conditions. The PD-14 is not the only engine in its thrust class and will have to compete with at least two major rivals, the PW-1000G and the Leap-1. Comparing the PD-14 with its competitors, the Leap-1 and PW-1000G is a complex task. These engines are very close in terms of performance, with differences in mass of about 1.5-2.5%, thrust varying by 2-5%, and specific fuel consumption differing by no more than 2%.
The materials and technologies used in these engines are also at a comparable level. The gas generator of the PD-14 is oversized in terms of air consumption compared to the PW-1431G by 12 to 15 percent. This might indicate that the developer intends to use it in more powerful modifications, such as the PD-14M and PD-18 with thrust ratings of 15.6 to 18 tons. The bypass ratio selected for the PD-14 is 8.5, which is lower than that of its competitors. However, reducing the fan diameter by 8 to 15 centimeters does not provide significant advantages in reducing the aerodynamic drag of the PD-14's nacelle. This is particularly true given that the nacelle of the baseline engine for the MC-21 aircraft, the PW-1431G, fits well under its wing with an acceptable clearance from the runway surface. The PD-14 is a rather contradictory engine. If its thermodynamic cycle parameters were closer to those of the Leap 1A, it could have slightly better fuel efficiency than its competitors. However, increasing the bypass ratio and fan diameter would require adding another stage to the low-pressure turbine, leading to an increase in the PD-14's weight by 100 to 150 kilograms. The PD-14 combustion chamber deserves special mention. While it is a significant improvement over the similar component in the PS90A, it does not reach the level of its competitors, which use second-generation dual annular combustion chambers, Talon X in the PW1000G and TAPS2 in the LEAP-1. Therefore, the emissions margins in compliance with ICAO Annex 16 for the PD-14 are likely achieved only in the cruise mode. According to A.A. Inozemtsev, the PD-14 is not inferior to its foreign competitors. One of the PD-14's advantages is its lower gas temperature at the turbine inlet by 60 to 80 grels, which results in a loss of thrust but provides savings during operation. Representatives of the Urquhart Corporation claim that the operating costs of the PD-14 are 2.5 to 3% lower than those of its competitors. The PD-14 represents a significant leap for Russian aircraft engine manufacturing, bringing it close to, though not outpacing, the level of Western technology. The primary area where the PD-14 lags behind its competitors is in production volumes and operational readiness, trailing by about six to seven years. However, given the reduced demand for aircraft due to the pandemic, this gap is not as critical. At this stage, it is crucial to begin deliveries quickly and earn the trust of airlines. The PD-14 is often called the locomotive of progress, and this is undoubtedly true. A tremendous amount of work has been done. A modern aircraft engine has been designed, built, tested, and prepared for serial production, creating jobs at dozens of enterprises, and developing and mastering advanced technologies and materials. Based on the PD-14 gas generator, work has begun on engines of smaller PD-7, PD-10, and larger PD-35 sizes, which Russia undoubtedly needs. Everything seemed to be progressing well until February 24, 2022. Following the onset of the war with Ukraine and the subsequent sanctions imposed by the US and the EU, the MC-21 was left with only one engine option, the PD-14 and only the domestic Russian market to serve. Now, do you think PD-14 is better or worse than its Western equivalents? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content. Please also take a look into our memberships to support us.